Oh my god, look at that run. He helped he helped Sarah up. Dude, I can't get over the running, man. <laughs> like, this isn't even necessary. Okay, so this is called Where is Sarah? Brian, can you hear me? Yeah, who's this? Is that Sarah? I'm that's probably Sarah. That oh, man wait. is still trying to break the door. Brian, where are you? Hey, Brian. Please come here and save me. Feel like I die. Feel like I die. Okay, take a deep breath and hide somewhere, like a wardrobe or something. Take a deep breath and face the music, cause you're gonna you're gonna get killed. Okay, he's going to take you. Listen to me very carefully. Oh man, I had Damn the it. I had the worst this dream. Is killing me. What the heck happened? What's going on? I can't remember anything. Wait, where's Sarah? He oh, said the thing. Man, I need a beer. He said the thing. And where the hell is Sarah? Okay, one thing I do want to change. Let me turn that down. All right, now this definitely looks like the type of game that would have someone outside the window peeking in. And is this window open? No, no. All right. Well, the th the problem is I can't see out the window because this, you know, this uh piece of wood here is in my face. That's what she said. But if I crouch, I still can't see. Like we, there's no sweet spot where you can actually look out the window. Sarah, Sarah, no time is a good time for goodbyes. Is this? I thought maybe this is the same house as. Is Simon there? All right, you guys already know what I'm looking at, right? You already know what I'm looking at. We gotta confirm. This, this is gonna determine if today's gonna be a good stream or a bad stream, okay? I'm not looking yet, but if Death Chord 3 is on the wall, good stream. If Death Chord 3 is not there, bad stream. And I can't do anything about it. No matter how hard I try, I'm not gonna be able to turn it around. It's just gonna be a bad night. I'm sorry for that. Okay, here we go. Come on. Don't, oh, I can't jump. I can't jump, but it's right there, right next to the red book. Yeah, good night. You know what? Maybe we should just end right here Quit while we're ahead. And there's another copy of Death Chord 3. Oh man, and another copy, and another copy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The end. It's only games that are made on the Unity engine. It's like some kind of like pre-made asset for bookshelves that have Death Chord 3 in it. And I don't know why we just settled on Death Chord 3 so long ago but it's just one of those little things that make me happy okay i have hints turned off i have no direction on where to go and what to do at the moment i'm going to try and leave those off and just try and figure things out on our own okay i don't think there's anything in oh what, what's that press e press e for what oh okay nothing there okay okay it's one of those games where we can open up everything and now we're going to spend 90% of our time just opening up unnecessary drawers, shelves, cupboards, closets, couch cushions, no couch cushions. Can we turn this off? Got to save power. No, no, no. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Immediately regrets it and then I couldn't find the switch to turn it back on. Oh, oh, okay, good. Finally, a game that actually starts us with a flashlight. All right, let's just get out of here. So was that, it, it sounded like that was a dream that Brian was having. I'm assuming we're playing as Brian because he woke up and Sarah was calling him saying there was someone knocking at the door. So maybe that was like something that happened in the past and he's having a nightmare about it. So maybe Sarah is dead already or it was just a dream and she's still okay. And you know, it was just like a, not anything that actually happened. Okay, door's locked. I do like the music. I'm just, I'm waiting for someone to pop up in the window. Door's locked. See this right here, this is the type of game that I like playing. Brian, what the hell are you doing, man? What is this? 
I haven't moved in yet. I, I, I'm, I'm just getting settled in. I got to put some stuff away. Brian, you've lived here for 10 years, man. You've had this hallway blocked ever since the first day you moved in. I say that speaking like from a personal standpoint. I don't know. Maybe it's just because like, I'm a bachelor and I don't really care about decorating. If you like came into my, my condo, you'd be like, oh, did you just move in? No, I just don't really decorate. Okay, so I do have a few things, but only things that like when I first moved in, my mom would just show up and she'd be like, here, just here, here's some decorations for the wall or you know, nothing that I went and got myself. It's like, you gotta, you gotta do some kind of decorating. Okay, so we're in the kitchen. I thought I saw something. It's probably just, it's, it's probably nothing. Hand comes up against the window. All right, we got pizza on the counter. Hopefully it's a pineapple. Big fan of pineapple pizza. Let's turn that off for a second. Love me some pineapple pizza, guys. Y you know that. You already know. I feel so much better. I wonder if there's anything in the other rooms. Okay, I think we just grabbed a beer. Nothing moved. All right, so we could open up the cabinets in the living room, but not in here. Do you think we're gonna have some peaking jump scares? It, this is perfect. Th this type of setup is perfect for peaking jump scares. Oh, I should probably shut this. Okay. All right. Brian said to check the other room. Why does he have so much milk? So many, uh, so many half gallons. Why not just buy one gallon? He's like, what can I say? I love milk. Okay. Uh, obtain item. I guess we'll just take this. I said, I guess we'll just take this. But that's the only thing I've seen so far that we can actually pick up. Now, we did check most of the doors and they were all locked. Nothing over here. We already came through here. I think that's the living room, isn't it? Yeah, but why was the light off? Remember, I turned the light off for a second, but turned it right back on. But then the light just came back on on its own. Okay, I don't know what room he's talking about. Because I'm pretty sure we checked all the doors. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Come on, Brian. Where are we going? Oh, wait. Maybe it's motion sensor. Because, like, all the lights are turning off. All right. I can't crawl through here. Brian, I don't know where the fuck you want me to go. There's no door to leave the kitchen. I did open up this. We grabbed a beer. He said, I wonder what's in the other rooms. What's this say? It all says it's dark under the lamp. Maybe they mean like a street lamp. I'm obsessed with looking outside. Just let it go, swole. That's what I'm thinking. Find a key. Can I grab you a soda? Sure. What do you want? Uh, or you want a jar of peanut butter? I got I got a couple cold jars of peanut butter in here. Can you imagine how hard that would be to spread on a piece of bread? Like some cold peanut butter? Lately, we've been playing some really... I don't want to say bad, but not good horror games and I've been getting like really frustrated with them and I'm, I was trying to find some home runs tonight poor dog nothing there I'm gonna go back in the living room and see if there's anything that we missed in here oh this wasn't here before I've heard some spooky sound like things are rolling around the ceiling it's seriously so fortunate that we could get such a big mansion even after even after moved to the rural area like here, but I feel a bit lonely. Is it me or just some trivial stuff? Did Sarah write these? How long has it been? How long have I been sleeping? I'm gonna close these. <gasps> hey! I said Hey, hey, okay. I guess we're not allowed to grab that yet. All 
All right. Well, now that we picked up that note, maybe something changed. Maybe a door unlocked. Maybe those items in the hallway are moved. So can't go there. Dude, the motion sensor is kind of a cool touch. You don't see that a whole lot. Something fell in the kitchen. All right, there was some glass breaking in the kitchen. Baby steps, tiny peaks. Baby steps, tiny peaks. Okay. Okay. The candelabra? Actually, no, I don't know what we picked up. I don't know what we picked up. There was nothing in our inventory other than the, the chest piece. Oh, we're just... We're just cleaning. We're putting away all the... All the stuff that fell. Okay, after cleaning up the table, picked up the pot which was hurled something something probably to the floor. I don't know. When I picked up the candelabra, did, did it go back like that or did that happen when my back turned? I don't remember the plates being put back like that. Okay, maybe we can go get the key now. Okay, still nothing peeking out from around corners. I'm going back to the living room to grab that key. I think this is the front door. No, it's not. No, there's a whole nother like office in there. This kind of reminds me of is Simon there? Okay, now can we grab the key? Okay, dude, this is going to bug the shit out of me because what if the keys glitched out? Because I mean, it's right there. Why can't we take it? Like, and I've had no problem picking anything else up. Which is why that worries me. Sarah, where did you go? Will I ever see your smile again? Sure. In hell. Okay, now can we pick up the key? Give me the goddamn key! Sarah, are you home? There might be a key for this office somewhere around here. Better take a look. You know, I think I saw a key back this way. If my memory serves me correctly, I believe there's a key in here. Hey! <laughs> Hey guys, we found a key. All right, so this is gonna go to the office. At first I thought it was, I thought it was something scraping on the window, but it's definitely coming from like the, uh, the attic. Are you a keyboard? Because you're my type. Ah, uh, don't worry about that noise. It's just the house settling. All right. So we have a key now. Let's go in the office. Dude, still no jump scares. I don't want to jinx it. I mean, obviously with that scratching sound, something's about to happen. Okay, so I'm going to say it's definitely coming from... Ooh, what if it's... I can't quite tell where it's coming from, whether it's coming from, like, the wall or the ceiling. Is that a cat? Oh, it's just a cat. Well, that was a letdown. All right, well, we have a cat. That's what it was. We let the cat out. The scratching stopped. Hold on. Phone's ringing in the other room, but I just want to look around real quick. Is that the same photo from the living room? Yeah, we only... We only went on one trip. We forgot our phones. We only had one... Enough film left in my... My Kodak disposable. We always cherished it. We never could get away again. You guys remember that disposable cameras? You remember the waterproof disposable cameras? They were like the same thing, but they came in like this big plastic shell. Good times. Good times. Simpler times. Not really though, because I mean, you had, to, you had to buy the camera at the store, then use it, then drop it off at one hour photo, go back and pick it up. Slower times. Okay. 
Is Simon there? I mean, Sarah there? Hello. Is Mr. Brian present? This is Mr. Brian. Who is this? How do you know my name? Because <laughs> I called your house. It was on our call sheet. Neighbor Stephen told me about you. I also live here in Cotswolds. Oh. Anyway, you do not look well. I would suggest one of my mannequins. They are simply to die for. Mannequins? Is this some kind of new strategy for hucksters? <coughs> Man, I got TB. He's another beer. All right, so he needs another beer. That means go back to the kitchen. All right, I'm, I'm calling it right now. If something's going to happen, it's going to happen right here on our way to the... Uh, on our way to the kitchen. We, we've already gone back and forth too many times for something not to happen. A lot of back and forth. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Come on. Hit me. Nothing. Damn. All right. Grab another beer. I was also hoping that when I turned around from drinking the beer that there'd be something there. Come on! Give me a best shot! Oh, it got real quiet. Like, extremely quiet. Alright, maybe there's a key for that door? In the office. Alright, I don't see anything in here. Dude, the game is literally just us walking from the kitchen Back to the living room, back to the kitchen. That's the front door. Can we see who's at the front door? I don't think the game's that detailed. It doesn't even show us like drinking a, a drink or pouring a glass of beer or whatever. I, I guess he just... It, it, I would assume that maybe he grabbed the can and drank the beer, but it sounds like he pours it into a cup and like you don't see any of that. So I doubt there's a chance to actually see who's on the porch. Uh, who is it? No one there. There's never anybody there. Oh. <laughs> uh. You can keep that? This is a little creepy, but these kinds of pranks never worked on me. It's a hell of a prank. Did you see the packing on that? Wait, can I go back out there? Or is that... We can. Okay, but we can't go out that door. Okay. What is that? That door opening, that's from something else. What is that sound? Another game or... From AOL! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I said it, it, it sounded like a, some sort of Windows alert, but I couldn't place like what it was actually from. There she is. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. What what the hell did I just see? I, I just had I had a feeling. Can't go out there. Alright, now we just need a shower curtain. Oh, here we go. A few days ago, I went out because I couldn't get to sleep well. And while I was about to get in the woods after the trail, I saw something like a white and pale man, like a rake from the tail. I was supposed to go through that place, but couldn't for that night. What was wrong with me? I was tired? What was it? What did I saw at that moment? 
I thought I heard footsteps the whole time that that was playing. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely heard footsteps. Uh, I, it sounds like it's coming from the other side of the house. <laughs> no one in the window anymore. Or maybe that's in the ceiling. Maybe that's what they were talking about before. M maybe it's in the ceiling or in the living room. Watch that box be in our living room. The, f the flashlight's out and the actual house light went out at the same time. Oh my God. Fuck. Flashlight's out. Okay, but now what? Fuck. Fuck. Flashlight's out. Fuck. Flashlight's out. Fuck. Flashlight's out. Fuck. Flashlight's out. Fuck. Fuck. Flashlight's out. We still have one door that we haven't gone into yet. All right, heading back to the kitchen. It's literally just back and forth. Nothing to pick up. I don't see anything new out here. Nothing in the window. I don't know what, what to do. Like, th the living room is... Uh, Fuck. Flashlight's out. It's like super dark. We have no flashlight. We can't get through this stuff yet. Maybe I can clip through it. I mean, kinda. <laughs> Just keep, keep pushing. Keep pushing. So what now? Door's still locked. Nothing got inside yet. Whoa! Oh, that's a mannequin. This wasn't here before though, right? I, it could have been. But that's not the thing that was in the window, was it? I didn't see like a hatch for the attic or anything. <gasps> Ooh. This picture looks like the boat out on the wharf. Is it upside down? I think it is. Nine. This picture looks like the boat out on the wharf. This picture looks like the boat out on the wharf. Nine. Well, I say nine because it's it's definitely upside down. The picture's upside down, so I think it's it's supposed to look like a six to throw you off, but I think it's ultimately a nine. But I don't see any other photos with numbers on them. Just the one, and he doesn't even talk about the number. This picture looks like the boat out on the wharf. And there's no other photos in here. Let's check the other hallway. All right, no number on Chris Christofferson. No numbers there. Dude, this this looks just like a baby photo that me and my sister have. Like, it looks just like me and my sister <laughs> as kids. Wait a second. No. No. No, it, this can't be. How? All right, so nothing else on the photos. All right, come on, give me something. Give me something. There's only so many places we can go. We have like three rooms we can go to. Now, it's definitely subtle though, like that little heart that was on that painting. Like I almost didn't see that. So we just gotta keep looking. So far, the only activity we've seen was that package getting dropped off and this window having the mannequin and the other thing. Uh, the power was out in the living room. But yeah, I can certainly try and turn the light back on. I just chalked it up to like all the power was out in this room. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Nah, still no power. And with no flashlight, I don't think it wants us to be in here because, I mean, dude, we can't see anything. I can't see out the, I mean, I can see out the window. <gasps> oh, is that window open? Oh! Behind the tree! Holy shit, I gotta call the cops. First I need to shut these windows. Yeah. 
Yeah, we do. Yeah, you, you think, Brian? We got another window here. Okay. I was bracing myself for something to like pop up in front of the window. Dude, I could barely see it over the top part of the of the of the wood there. So does that mean they're in the house? Assuming there's like more than one. I gotta call the cops. Was there another phone somewhere? There was the phone in the living room, but there's no power. Let me let me double check. Maybe after that interaction, they they brought the power back. There we go. Okay, so let's call the cops. Wait, why are some lines, some lines have dialogue, some don't. Uh, I don't know why it was so, okay. Fortunately, there was no noise around me anymore. Okay. So cops didn't answer. No noise around us. D does Brian think he's safe now? Dude, I don't care. Oh, the fireplace is out too. There was a fire in there. Um, Dude, you're being stalked by mannequins and, and you're relieved when the noises stop. Dude, you're still being stalked by mannequins. Oh, we got our flashlight back. Yeah, these mannequins came to life. Uh, they were stalking me, but now they stopped making noise, so I have no problems anymore. We're just gonna be cool with that now because they stopped making noise. Come on, Brian. Come on. Come on, Brian. Come on. Come on. All right, back to the kitchen. It's the kitchen office living room game. Dude, I'm waiting for one to be peeking out. It's gonna happen. Because they keep peeking outside one of these times. We're gonna turn the corner and they're gonna be at the end of the hallway looking back at us. Yeah, imagine like we get to the other side of the house and it's literally Simon's house on the other side. He said the barricade was glowing. All right, let's go check out the barricade. Oh yeah, it's glowing, glowing. Like I didn't even know, I was looking for a, like a red arrow. There are many junks are hoarded. I should bring some gears or tools to go through th at this point. Or maybe I can just keep shaking it and it'll just collapse. Let me through. There are many junks. I should bring some gears or tools to go through. Did we see anything that would be gears or tools? Many junks in the trunks. Unless we can open it up this door now. No, we still can't open that up. I didn't see anything in the office. I definitely didn't see anything in the living room. Where'd that cat go? Dude, we, we let a cat out of here. There was a cat underneath this little table. Did he, wait, he said gears or tools? <gasps> Do we have to go out front? We have to go to the garage. We gotta go out the front door, right? It's the only way there. Oh, the fire's back. <laughs> Is he gonna like, He's gonna grab a saw and like cut his way through his own stuff. All right, let's see if we can go out here. No, dude, I don't know. Cause I don't, I don't know where you would keep anything. Oh, here we go. You know, that, that that's where I would keep my fireman's ax. He can't just like move the box. We're, we're, we're literally going to ax our way through our own shit. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost there. Gone. Oh, dude, and it, it cleans up too. Self cleanup. Self-cleaning axe debris. Man, it's really wedged in here. Okay. Now shit's about to go down. Ooh. All right. Maybe a little... Oh my God, I just got over here! God damn it! Wait, did you see something? I thought, I thought I saw something briefly. And again, it could just be me seeing shit. I thought I saw like the shoulder of something like going back behind the wall. 
As soon as we get to a new area, we have to go back to the, the living room. All right, let's talk to Mannequin Man. Hello, Brian. It is a shame that you have ignored my favor. My mannequin has taken some liking to you. A shame that you two could not have met. Perhaps one could be used to replace something in your life. After a few seconds, that unknown guy burst bursted into laughter. But alas, perhaps I have gone too far. That was out of I the budget. Let you go with a warning. We couldn't record him this laughing. Time. <laughs> oh! Dude, I love how it, we, we read the part that said he burst into laughter, but he didn't actually laugh. Like, maybe they were like, you know what? At this point in the conversation, this would be a good time for him to laugh. Yeah, but we already we already paid the guy and he, he recorded his lines. It's okay. We'll just fill in the blanks with some text. <laughs> like, why even have it in there anyway? <laughs> we'll just we'll just write it in. Oh, is this my new wife? It's just a normal mannequin. Why'd that guy say he was giving it to me for free? I shall call you. Thera, you're my new wife. I love you, Thera. I can't, I, we, we can't take it out of the box. It stays in the box. I'll be back, Thera. Don't wait up. Okay, let me let me just vent for a second. We've been playing a lot of games lately that have the mechanic of turn your back, mannequin moves. What, what do they call that? Weeping angels. Turn your back, mannequin moves. Turn back around, mannequin stops. Turn your back, mannequin moves. Look back at the mannequin, mannequin stops. I, it's kind of overplayed at this point. I hope to God they don't do that only because we've seen it so much lately. Mannequin stops. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's see what's going on. I feel like we've seen this living room before. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same living room from Heart Attack, but the layout of the house is different. Because this was the book right here. You got your TV. Here's the book that the key was behind that I couldn't find. Uh, we'll take that. Okay. Five. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, we got that. Can we not turn that off? Okay. It went off on its own. Can't open that door. Doesn't even budge. All right, let's see what this puzzle is. What? Oh. Oh man, I have no idea what this means. Okay. Well, how do I how do we reset it? Oh, now it's going back down. So that's 5 on the night. Hold on, we gotta find more pieces. All right, we're looking for more pieces, more chess pieces. I don't know what the puzzle like. 
You know, I don't know what the numbers mean. Why is it so quiet? Okay, mannequin is not moving yet. That's good. Oh, we got to go over here. Yeah, we haven't really spent much time on the other side of the house. And I don't think there's any... Well, let me just double check. I don't think there's any chess pieces in here. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? And, dude, there's no... Oh, oh, four? Four on the diamond. Oh, and heart is nine. So four, nine. We just got to find a spade and a club. Uh, nothing on that painting. Okay, so four, nine. Going back over. No. Oh, it was a reflection from the clock. I thought it was in here. I thought it made its way in. So I'm guessing this puzzle unlocks this door. And in that door, we should get the rest of the, the code. But I don't see any other chess pieces unless they started adding more into areas we've already been in. Let me just check these. Okay, that mannequin's gone. There was a mannequin right outside the, the door there or outside the window. Unless that's the same one. No chess pieces in there. Can't open those. Come on. You gotta give me something. You gotta give me something. Yep, yeah, maybe there's a uh, a chess piece in here with with her. No, no chess pieces in there. Yeah, this isn't uh, this isn't up to code. Yeah, you got you got no hole in your chimney. Also, <laughs> I'm on fire. Well, I could cheese this. But I don't want to cheese it if I don't have to. I, I still like to find the other, the other paintings. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. Okay, we couldn't open these before. There we go. Yeah. All right. I'll take that. You think they would like put one in here? You know what I mean? Like that'd be a good spot for a chess piece. Oh, another one. That might be all of them. I don't know how many more how many more we need. All right, so let's figure out this chess piece puzzle. Can we turn the lights on in here? Oh my god. Yeah. So I'm I'm thinking that there's a uh like more paintings in here. We got to solve this puzzle to get in here. And then I'm guessing that there's more clues in there for the combination. But something about chess pieces. I always forget which one's the king and which one's the queen. Does the king have the cross on top of it? Or is that the is that the king or the queen? I think the queen has the cross. Cross king. Cross king. Well, the knight is already a five. That's all they automatically wrote that one in. That's our only clue. King has the cross. Okay. So. If the knight has the five. We got a rook. King has the cross. Queen. Bishop. Bishop Nelson. The pawn. Uh, but why is the knight a five? What makes the knight a five? I can't pick it up. But why is the one down here? Here we go. Here we go. Uh, why is the knight? Why is five here? One's here, but four is higher than the five, but the one is lower than the five. And then if I do this. Oh, we got hit. We got to hit this up here. So then the number goes down, but the one is at the very bottom. And now that's a one. And this is a one. And now it's a six. So that doesn't matter. The, the ones at the bottom don't matter. 
Shit, dude. This is kind of confusing. All right. Let me just like look around and see if there's any clue. Maybe this guy's tier list for chess pieces. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe just look around for a second and see if there's anything that gives us a hint. Uh, there's numbers on the side of this, but that's not going to be it. Yeah, and I don't see any anything related to chess. Well, maybe we just go with the obvious. Let me just... Let's just start looking at some stuff here. The knight is fixed on five. Yeah. Ask the mannequin. Are there points at all in chess? Like, is there any kind of scoring system where, like, a knight would be worth five points for whatever reason? So we got... Like that, that, oh, but then the pawns are one down here. I don't know. Um, uh, okay. So I want to keep. Okay. So like a one, two, that's a five. Maybe make that a three. What? 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 I mean, I, guys, it's it's just so simple. Uh, I would explain to you what I did there, but I mean, I'm gonna let you guys figure it out for yourselves. And and not because I don't know what the hell I just did. No, that's not, that's not it at all. So, I was just, I, I thought we'd have to do more trial and error. I was just thinking like the royalty of the situation, you know, like, <laughs> like how would these line up? Like as far as royalty go, you got the king and then the queen one and two. I don't know. And then like the bishop and the rook, those are the only ones that I, I couldn't figure out like what, which one would be higher than the other. And I assume that all the levels would be different, like that no two piece would be on the same level. And that's all I went by, but I thought we'd have to play around with the, uh, the, the levels of the Rook and the bishop more. Okay. Okay. Let's go get another beer out of the fridge. Hey, hey you. Sarah? Who let you out of the box, Sarah? Sarah? You get back here. Is that Sarah? Ooh, there we go. There we go. Spade. Two. So spade two. Son of a bitch. I mean, we could go crack that code now for the door. We only need three out of the four to make that happen. I feel like, I don't know, man. Waiting for the door to slam behind us. So far, so good. My eyes on you as if I am a prayer prowling around you. So I am. I'll get your mere flesh as soon as your that brittle soul is done. Oh, phenomenal. Phenomenal writing. But ha, huh, no worries. Even if you'd be dead as hell. Yeah, you're going to be dead as hell. Then my master will get you to the whole new time. Okay? And I will repeat that to really drive this point home. But ha, huh, no worries. Even if you'd be dead as hell, then my master will get you to the whole, the whole new time. And don't you forget that. 
Don't you dare forget that. Okay. Is Sarah's music box? Doesn't look like it works. Poor old thing. Okay, so Sarah's music box doesn't work. Is this Sarah's music box? Doesn't look like it works. Poor old thing. Can you let me out, please? Well, so now what? Thanks for playing. Is something walking towards us? Yes. Fuck. Flashlight's out. Is it getting closer? Yeah, yeah. Mannequin's getting closer. I can't go anywhere. Fuck. Flashlight's out. I'm, I'm just like watching this thing come towards me. I don't, what do you want me to do? I can't move. Please don't kill me. Oh man, that was a hell of a dream. What what was that? Okay, well at least we didn't like have to start over. I think that was just, oh God. Okay. Like no sound effects, no nothing. Just <laughs> su such gentle slaps. Such gentle, gentle slaps. Fagella, thank you for the six month resub. At tier th fucking three. Thank you. Yeah, not scary. Well, that's the thing is like for these horror games, it's not always about like scary. Like they do have scary moments. Sometimes it's just about the, the goofiness of this shit. Especially if it's not intended to be funny. That just makes it even more funny. Okay, so it's two. Uh, we have enough information for the for the code. We don't need... We don't need to find every shape. Uh, let me just double check here. Heart is either a six or a nine. Two was downstairs. I think that was a spade. And four diamond. All right, so two, four. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say nine, one. Okay. I'm going to start with a nine, two, four, nine. I'm going to say they're not going to repeat numbers. So two, four, nine, we'll go three. Two, four, nine, five. There we go. Success. So it was a nine. Ah. It was a nine. Look guys, this ain't my first rodeo, okay? This ain't my first rodeo. I don't know what else we were looking for because our only goals were to do the chess pieces. Oh, here we go. Today I got divorced with Brian in the dream. While we were just dating, he used to follow me and tell me that he fell for me. Have dinners together. Do ban the chenault. But these days, he rarely came in for overtime work or boozing. Why on earth it became a bit more hard to see him even after being his wife. Am I second for him to his job? Or maybe he does not love me anymore? <sighs> I'm sorry I've been so distant, Sarah. If I had been with you that night, things might be better. Brian had ransacked the whole house, but couldn't find Sarah at all. I looked everywhere. I tore this place apart. Can you imagine, like, you can't find someone 
<laughs> like you come home, you can't find your significant other. So instead of like, just keep looking for them, you like, you literally tear your entire house apart. Pushing over bookshelves as if they're hiding behind shit. Flipping over beds. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. All right, we have a lock on that little box. All right, we can go in here. I will say that the AOL door sound is, uh, it, it breaks a little bit of the immersion. <laughs> this room is really cold. <sighs> Let me see if I can get a fire going. In the room? <laughs> he just like builds a fire like right in the closet. Oh, did I fuck up? Okay. I, I may have uh, killed the power in the house. Oh God. Hold on, hold on. Dude, I don't even know what I was doing, man. I just, I just started flipping switches. Okay, I fucked up. I don't know what he means by get a fire going. Cause we have a fire in the only fireplace in the entire house. <gasps> Dude, I keep thinking I see something. That's the second time. The second time I saw uh, what looked like a mannequin, like the arm or shoulder of a mannequin. All right, I don't think there's gonna be anything in there because we, we solved that puzzle. I think we're done there. But he said about getting a fire going, so I guess we'll head back to the living room. There is a fire going, but there's a note here. Female mannequin. <laughs> uh, not to be confused with any other mannequins in the house, but the, the female mannequin says, Mr. Brian, and very respectful by the way, Mr. Brian, uh, do you give me some favor? I am done with scaring you anymore. Then I will be at the office. Talk about the things in detail later. Cool. Yeah, I guess we have a date with a mannequin in my office. Let's go. Hey, Mr. Brian, I promise not scare you no more. Come over and let's have a chat with a mannequin. All right, let's see what she wants. Well, she said she's in the office. Come over to the office and we will have chat. No power. So where is she? Any window jump scares? What was she talking about? Is there another office? Like to me, this is the office. Uh, that's not a fucking mannequin. All right, here. I thought we were only dealing with a mannequin. That was not a. That was not a mannequin. Oh God, and this is also not the office. This is definitely the second living room. Well, where'd it go? Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. All right, that's locked again. All right, so now we have a mannequin to deal with. Possible demon. Ooh, wait, what's this? Okay, it's dark under the lamp. Now, they didn't let me pick these up earlier. Ooh. Oh. Look, look, look. Look, look on the, uh... Oh, we, we can actually take it. Well, I can see it from here, but barely. Look. Club. Club is five. There it is. We cheesed it though. We didn't need that. Fear factor went up just a little bit after seeing the monster arm. But I don't know what else they want us to do because the part that's 
Oh, there we go. What was that? I keep looking out the windows. I keep looking out the windows, but I've only ever seen... It, it, we've seen like two things outside the windows, so it's not uncommon. But it's been a while. All right, now we just got to find a little key for that. And we have to go down to the basement again because we only went down there that one time and found that music box. Hang on a second. I'm, I'm going back in here. I'm going back in here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Because every time I leave this room, and it could just be my imagination, but every time I leave this room, I think I see something around the corner. Now, whenever I come out of here, I always think I see something. No, look, it's just a light from the kitchen. It's a light from the kitchen, but always it happens so fast that I think it's something dipping behind the corner. I don't know what's left to do. Okay, that just swung open on its own. Oh, that's the mannequin. That's not the alien demon looking thing. Hello, Brian. Oh, Sarah. Wait, is this Sarah? Sarah, are you okay? Mr. Brian, you all right? You saw something weird, I think. I have something to tell you. So come closer. No need to be on guard like that. Well, cut to the chase. I've been looking for one book in this house. Death Chord 3. It must be a bit weathered and antique. You know this place is too vast. Thus, couldn't find it easily. Anyway, you remember the room with the TV? Once you turn on that TV, then a book I want will pop up on its screen. You need to bring it back to me, but watch out. TV shows, it only wants for you. If you bring me the book that I want precisely, then I will give you clues about Sarah. But if you get me the wrong one, then you better brace yourself. For your information, there is no book in this room. I've already checked. So I will wait for you here. Is that a barcode? Yeah. Dude, just twist her head off. Boom. Problem solved. Right there. Done. Game over. We win. Goodbye, female mannequin Sarah. All right. So we got to turn on the TV. Turn on the TV and it's going to show a book. And we have to select that one book to bring back to her. And she said we can't fuck it up. Magic theory. Magic th Thank you for playing the demo version of Where is Sarah? Wait, wait, hold on. What the? F what? Dude, that was, I have the full version, but I also have the demo. Oh no. Actually, saved game. For those users who cleared the demo. Yes. Yes. Warning, spoiler. This checkpoint is still locked. Not recommended for the enjoyment of the game. Are you sure you want to click? Yes. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah, there she is. So, okay, cool. Thank God, dude. Um, also, the game looks a little different too. Like the lighting's a little different. The fire looks better. Okay, cool. So it's, it's neat to see that they improved the graphics on it as well. And they got rid of Death Chord 3. I'm kidding. It's right there. So do we have to watch the thing again? Okay, brick wall, magic theory. Brick wall, magic theory. So we got to find a book called magic theory. I feel like it's not going to be one of these. Because these are just like, this is like a texture for a bookshelf. Oh. Well, that says magic theory, but it's not the same color. She said you better not mess up and bring her the wrong book. Should we just go with that? Does it have an arrow? It does. It does. But let me just... I just feel like they're trying to throw us off with that. 
I'm not saying it's not the book we're looking for. <gasps> There's another one. Uh-huh. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. The one that we were that was on TV was more pink. Like this one right here. That's the one. That's the one. All right. See? See? Always go with your gut. My gut said that's wrong. Yeah, overthinking does pay off sometimes. Other times it causes us to play, uh, it, it take, it, it causes us to take six hours to play a 20 minute game. It could go either way. All right, we bought our book back. Here you go. Mr. Brian, is it that book? <laughs> Let me take a look. You bet your fucking ass it is. Can we pass the vibe check? Where'd it go? Well, metal on the edge and reddish totally. Yes, this one is what I flipped for. It's the one fits for my master's taste, antique. Then, as we talked before, I should give you a clue. Sorry to say so, but you need to pass the ordeal first. Let's go for somewhere else first. Oh, it's counting down? Oh, hey. What? What are we doing? Uh, dude, it's, it's counting down. Oh my god. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Okay. Here we go. Still no sign of weeping angel mannequins, so that's good. I'm just I'm so tired of that game mechanic and it being overused. Okay, cool. We got through it. You good? I don't know what to do. Oh. There we go. Four. Go. No. Ah. Ah. Please, no smoking. Oh, this way? Okay, cool, because I was going to go a different way. I'm glad they wrote that on the wall. Is that her? Whoa! Ah! Are we dead? All right, we got to be quicker than that. No. No. Not a lot of wiggle room. Not a lot of wiggle room. What, what? Dude, where do, where do we go? Where do we go? Getting shaken to death. Shaken by the fembots. What do I do this? What about this? Little little backtrack action. I don't know where to go. I, I don't know where to go. Crouch under the clothes, but there's a uh, there's a bar on the floor. Well, good luck with that. She's literally standing right there. 
This <laughs> is somebody in the recording booth with maracas. You fucking asshole. You fucking asshole. Where? 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 I want to know where. What's up, boobs? Remember, this is as fast as I can run. Or right, we have walk and run. Walk, run, walk, run, walk, and then run. This is sprinting. You, you, you think I'm not sprinting? Crowbar needed. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, uh, just, whoa, just pick yourself up a crowbar. It's that it's that simple. Uh, yeah, I don't have a fireman's axe anymore. I don't think so. Be a sneaky little snake. Come on, Arthur. Be a snaky little snake. Okay, they can't follow me. So, maybe this will buy me some time to find a crowbar. keep doing uh oh there is something glowing go uh oh No crowbar, guys. Only this hammer. Yeah, we got to find a different way. Yeah, there's only a, there's only a hammer here, not a crowbar. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I guess I'll keep looking. No crowbar. Throw it away. Yeah, we tried, guys. We tried. Go, go, go! Okay, cool. We made it. Jeez. Please don't start me over. Oh, please don't start me over. Ah! No! Dude, I'm gonna hear that song in my sleep. It's not even a song. I'm scared, Arthur. Okay, it's open. Dude, this reminds me of... Uh, what was that game called? Dead of the Night? Fuck. Flashlight's out. Oh, whoa. Oh, what the hell? No, 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 no! I fell through the fucking map. No, 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 no. So what now? What now? I can't respawn.
Okay, please, like... Okay, good. Right? Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh, Mr. Brian, why don't you get my call like that? Who is this? How do you know who I am? Footsteps. It's me, Steven, your neighbor. It's, How have you been? It's me, Steven. Oh, it's been a while. I've been looking for Sarah all over, but I can't find her. I think I'm seeing things. It looks like a mannequin is following me around. Yeah, sounds really tough. I thought you were in hospital, but this number got a call on me. Hospital? I've been home drinking for the past three days. Can't you still remember? You better check on the recorded video for details. I'm sure you get what you want. You killed Sarah. The video must be in that first aid kit, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, first aid kit. Now we need the key. Of course. Dude, it's it's always... I joke about it, but I'm not... It's like a half joke. When people are like... Oh, what's the, uh, what's the, what's the plot of this horror game? Well, um, you know, you show up in a house, it's abandoned, and you're trying to figure out what happened to the family that used to live there, you know, and then after various clues, you realize that you were the murderer, and you've been, you know, unconscious or something this whole time, like, in, in some kind of, like, dream state. That, that's like 90% of horror games, is, is you always end up finding out that you're the killer, and that you murdered your whole family. All right, there's definitely someone walking around in here, but we got to find a key for the first aid kit. Dude, how how nice was that? Not only was it good that we could pick up right where the demo left off, because I thought, I really thought that we had to start over at the very beginning again and play through all the demo stuff to get back to where we were. But then also just there, yeah, we clipped through the map, but the game redeemed itself by letting us spawn right back in, and, and that was a checkpoint. So, game keeps fucking up, but it keeps redeeming itself at the same time. No key, no key, no key. All right, so I wonder, is the mannequin walking around or is it the demon thing? Or is it Sarah? Dude, this reminds me of Zelda, where like you're constantly trying to find Zelda in Tears of the Kingdom. And like you always see her from far away, but like you can never actually get her. She's right there. Wait a second. Is that a different door? Yo, this door wasn't here before. Ooh. Okay. 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 Sarah, it's me, baby. I'm sorry. You gotta believe me. I didn't mean to murder ya. Take me back. Sarah! Sarah! You came back to me! Second medical diagnosis. Were you very surprised? Even if you continue to be hospitalized, your condition won't improve. We carefully review the documents multiple times to see if there were any misdiagnosis. But unfortunately, there were no errors in the paperwork. The results are not as positive as we had hoped. We strongly recommend maintaining a basic level of physical fitness, such as engaging in regular walking exercises. Prepare yourself mentally. You don't have much time left. Attending physician, Robert, no last name. All right, Dr. Rob. Sarah! Oh, here we, oh, there we go. Don't mind if I do. All right, so we have the key for the first aid kit. We have a new door installed in our house. Heading back to the other bedroom. It's getting real quiet. Getting real, real quiet. The footsteps stopped. Why is it so quiet? Babe, are you okay? Are you hurt? Stay with me. I'll get an ambulance. I... I'm okay. We've moved to hospitals quite a bit. Everywhere. Every doctor said the same thing. Just let me stay like this. 
Anyway, Brian, can you hold my hand? I am feeling the pain growing. I am not sure I can stay still in a few days. This is my last wish. Please finish me with that gun. It's too torturing to live like this. No, I can't do this. No. There has to be something we can do. Shoot Five me, Brian. Already being done. If you love me, you, you will know shoot you've me. Done well, right? That's Brian. <laughs> oh, Brian, you're breaking my heart. Please, Brian, let me go without pain. <laughs> This escalated quickly. She's not even here. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Okay. And they didn't have a noose, but they did have a lasso. And that'll still work, right? Mr. Brian? It's Steven here from next door. I heard that there was a bang with a gun. Is everything okay? Yeah, everybody's showing up now. It's weird because you don't normally see the third person perspective on character models in, in indie horror games. Steve, who didn't hear the. Uh, I, I wasn't even reading it. Oh my god, look at that run! <laughs> yes! Oh, Brian, no! Wait, what the. Brian, come back to Earth, man! Steven quickly untied the rope, uh, helped Brian and Sarah up, and left the room to call 911. Wait, you helped Brian and Sarah up? He helped He helped Sarah up? This is 911, right? Please send any ambulances to here. Just props here her up Cotswold, in the corner. 111 Street. Dude, I can't get over the running, man. <laughs> like, this isn't even necessary. Brian, you like, okay? You, like, you don't... Well, where the hell is Sarah? She was here a moment ago, but... Plus, I thought it said he helped them up. Why are they still on the ground? It said Steve helped Brian and Sarah up. <laughs> oh my God, man. These are the moments I live for. I honestly thought that was gonna be the end of the game. And then I started thinking, damn, the demo was longer than the whole game. The only Sarah, photograph we have. Where did you go? Will I ever see your smile again? Will I ever see your smile again? Dude, you just watched the tape of you shooting her and killing her. What's up, Corgi? Born in 86. That's how I always did it. You gotta teach these youngsters what life was like in the 1900s. Dude, that's crazy when you put it like that. I was born in the 1900s. How did he watch his own death? It was a camera. It said that Steve helped Brian and Sarah up, which he didn't, but he did help Brian down. So Brian lived, I'm assuming, from hanging himself. Sarah ran away out the window or her body was stolen. So I wonder if Crazy Mannequin Man stole her body and maybe used some sort of weird ritual to like put her consciousness or her soul into the mannequin. I, dude, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. And I don't know what the objective is now. There's a lot early on, especially in the demo, but not as much now. Like it's like they abandoned like the like some of the better scary parts that they were doing. That for flashlight. Oh, so our selective flashlight is working again. Box is gone. No one outside. All right, I'm going to say nothing in here. 
So we can't go to the front door. All right, this is the room that everything went down in, but I don't think we need to come back here for anything. I still don't know what that creature thing was. We saw it one time, we saw this creature, like there's a door that was opened up and you saw his hand come out and I think he shut the door and it definitely wasn't a mannequin. And it was just a one time thing. I just don't know what we're working towards now. Like we watched the tape. Okay. Um, that was midnight. Like, just in case we need to know, like, how many chimes for a puzzle. It's definitely 12. Dude, the pasta is still here. Are we going to eat this? Like, dude, I love spaghetti. You can't just leave that out like that. You got you're, you got to eat it. Don't be wasting your pasta. And we've been through here. Yeah. A lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. I don't mind going back and forth. Like if there's like things to do, like you go in one room. But there's a lot of times where we go to one room, go back, go back, go back, and then something happens. It just seems like it's a lot of filler. Like they're just stretching the game out to be longer. Yeah, buy our game. It, it's uh. It's got a four hour play time. It's actually only 20 minutes long. Turn the power back on. Good call. Good call. Dude, I'm honestly shocked that they haven't really thrown any, like any jumps and scares at us. Like there's so many opportunities that they could have thrown in where Uh, you know, it's like things like peeking around corners and stuff like there's so many like that would make this a little bit better if like Phones ringing. Okay. If like not every time but every once in a while you would get something like Peeking out at you and like that way you didn't know what was gonna happen But now it's just we're just at a point now. Where we just walk back and forth and we know nothing's gonna happen because nothing ever does happen Hello, How Mr. Brian. You? Who? You. What the fuck do you want from me? My house? My money? My money? Oh, don't flatter yourself. That is not what I require of you. I, I just want your love. Wish, and I have 300 years of experience to prove it. It seems that the workaholic has nowhere to go. Forced to drink away his sorrow and be none the wiser. Look at the unknown man let out a laugh <laughs> as if he couldn't hold it any longer. Then why is your lackey bothering me? <laughs> Are you trying to get me for fraud or something? He never laughs. We Do just, so that's the second rash. time we read that he laughs when he never, he never laughs. More of an assistant. You should appreciate this kindness that I have brought to you. But there is so much more I would like to show you. I would like to invite you to my mansion. Go past the alley and straight into the woods. I will see you then, dearie. Past the alley and straight into the woods. We gotta leave the house? How long is this game? <laughs> So we got to go to a whole new house. I, I'm just hoping I don't mind. I'm just hoping they turn it up a little bit, a little bit on, on the on the horror side. This is the first time that they're actually letting us out of the house. Should we grab a beer for the road? I don't know how long this walk's going to be. Okay, he said...
Checkpoint saved. Okay, never mind. Dude, I'm like expecting to, you know, have to traverse through a, a, a little town, through an alley, through a forest. Oh, it's a star. Star for good job. Why is a statue here? I was about to head out to the woods. Is this withdrawal? Looks like the basement where I found that music box. Due to abstaining, Brian's running speed has been increased temporarily. Due to abstaining? I don't know. It makes me feel weird. It must be some other form of the gargoyle. I gotta get out of here. What? What are we doing? Oh, that's the thing! That's- God damn it, run Whoa! away! This way! Uh, fix that leak! Oh, the blood slows us down! Don't step in the blood! Go, 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 go! Oh, there was something back there. Uh, 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 this way, question mark. Death! No! Question mark. Okay, do not step on the blood. Yeah, there's like a little cut in the wall. And who knows, maybe we're gonna die again, but you know me, I gotta, here we go. Not safe here, son of a bitch. Okay, stay away from the cuts. We're going to the exclamation mark. Okay, here we go. Exclamation point. Dude, watch this say death as well, I'll be pissed. Home free, home free, home free. Here we go. Uh, flare. I'll take it. How to use light stick. Take out the item. Press R. Use the item. Left mouse button. Throw the item. Right mouse button. Okay. Mr. Brian, are you alive and well? If you do, and you make it out of here alive, I'd really like to invite you to my mansion. It would be a disservice to my mansion to invite just anyone. Well, it would be impossible for a weakling like you to survive here. Yeah. Did someone get spanked at the end of the audio tape? Uh, it, sound, it sounded like Mannequin Man got spanked. He already invited us to his mansion though. So what does this mean? Okay, so we pull out the light stick. Not, it's not a flare. It's a light stick. Oh! Whoa! Hell! Fuck! Oh my god. Look, I'm not I'm not saying that it's corny, but like I mean what like how else would you describe that? Demon thing, I'm going this way. Come on, man. It would All right, be so a this way to my mansion to invite just anyone. Well, it would be impossible for a weakling like you to survive here. Yeah.
Yeah, I did. I threw it. The, the one had a circle in the ground. I threw it at it because I didn't know what to do. But then I turned around. And there was one blocking a path. I'm holding on to this. You do, and you make it out of here alive. I'd really like to invite you to my mansion. It would be a disservice to my mansion to invite just anyone. Okay. That one disappears. Well, it would be impossible for a weakling like you to survive here. <laughs> I, th I threw it. I threw it. Well, it would be impossible for a weakling like you to survive here. <laughs> Hopelessness? Oh my god, man. I, I hate this trial and error shit, but here we go. It is what it is. Survive here. <laughs> I tried. I don't know what that is. There's like a little basket on the ground. Like you to survive here. <laughs> Shit! I threw one by accident. He's starting to believe. He's starting to believe. Please help us. Oh my God. And that's not a checkpoint. Locked. Lurkers. I'm blaming the lurkers. Oh, dude. Lurkers? Lurkers in chat? You're lucky. You're lucky that was a checkpoint. Okay, I forgive you for now. I forgive you for now. Okay. Oh! Now it did. Bitches. All right, we're done. We win. Which way? Oh, come on. with E you pick it up with E you store it as R you bring it back out as R and you throw it you hold on it's E to pick up R to bring out left mouse to light right mouse to throw 
Like I have, to, it's not just a matter of like, oh, click E and throw it. No, no, no. It's click E, press R, light it, throw it. Left mouse, mouse button, right mouse button. In that amount of time. E to pick up, R to store it, R to bring back out. So it's E, R, R, left mouse button, right mouse button is what I have to remember. you oh fuck you do you like that though death my ass good juke yeah so you think i can actually bring them into that room it's so dark too like so dark this is fucking crazy man there's a difference between challenging fun and challenging annoying this challenge isn't fucking fun i'm turning my brightness up so my brightness is gonna be a little brighter than what you guys can see all right so i'm saying that this is the way don't don't go in there Elias, thank you for the hundred bits. Dude. Well, hopefully, hopefully this is a checkpoint. Like I swear, I'm not doing that other part again. If we die and it respawns us back. Oh my God. Okay, I'm over this. I'm over this, man. Damn. 
God damn this game, dude. It went from like, okay, to like dog shit. We're, it's dog shit now. <laughs> uh. They just turn around and they, they catch it the other side. We're going to have to throw the flare. I was trying to save it. Tell you what, man. Uh, my reaction time is much higher than I than I than I expected. This old man still has some tricks up his sleeve. Oh my god! I missed it. Do it again. All right. Let me just reload that checkpoint. This is nice. All right. Let me turn the brightness back down so I so I can get immersed again. I wish you guys could see my screen. It's like looking through a cloud. That's how bright I had it. How long do you think this is? Not a fan of any of that. Oh, we're in the guy's mansion now. Okay. All right. So we made it to dude's mansion. To Mr. Brian. I hope you are not feeling too unwell. Welcome to this room, Brian. For the time being, you can use this room. That's it. You can use this room. Unfortunately, I have some business to attend to. I won't be accompanying you, but my partner on the first floor will guide you. Also, I have displayed some paintings in this room that I believe you might find interesting. Please feel free to enjoy them calmly. By the way, I don't like this room. The sunlight comes in too well here. The oh, fuck? What is going on? No! No! <laughs> I'll see you in hell! This room is pretty bright. Not now that I, now that I, now he mentioned it. All right, from the top, here we go. Oh, hang on. I gotta turn my brightness back up. Uh, guys, my blood is fucking boiling right now, but I'm trying to remain calm, trying to stay calm and not lose my shit. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to lose my shit. Gonna get through this with a smile on my face. With a smile on my face. Dude, I'm, a, I'm I've, I've already, I've already proven that I can do this. You know what I mean? Like, so the fact that we have to do this again and again, and, and, and now continue to fail again and again, after we've, I've already succeeded. I've already succeeded. And I said, I was never doing this fucking part again. 
So now I have to reprove that I can do this again. This is fucking bullshit, man. I forgot to press R twice. I hit E, R once, and then I accidentally fucking throw it without lighting it. How did I end up doing it again? I fucking clipped through the floor. Not even my fucking fault. It's not like, well, Swole, if you wouldn't have failed the next challenge and you wouldn't have had to restart. So this is a, this is a user error. This is a skill issue. The game literally is broken. Because the game is broken, I now have to go back and replay the same things I already fucking beat. Out of my fucking control. There is no save. There are only checkpoints. Do not go by the windows. Do not go by the fucking windows. Okay, so here we are. We're back in the room. I'm not reading the letter again. Uh... And why isn't there a checkpoint? Dude, we get checkpoints between each little chase sequence, but we don't get a fucking checkpoint now? Why is, why is this new section not a checkpoint? Dude, I'm so nervous until I see that there's like a checkpoint at the bottom of the screen. I'm so fucking nervous to go anywhere because of how easily we clip through the floor. All right, so they told us to go down to the bottom floor and find his partner. Is his partner a gargoyle? Dude, like, I'm so nervous right now. Like, this is greater than any fear I've ever felt in a horror game, is, is falling through the floor. Oh. Here you are. Count told me of you, Mr. Brian. What game is this? What, what the fuck happened to the game While we were playing? I was just a mundane, we were married. But unfortunately, I have no memories on it. Whenever I try to recollect, I get migraine and feel suffocated. So I rather enjoy the present and the future than stick to the old time. At the very first moment I saw him under the moonlight, I felt a bit of fear and tingle too, but it was a sign of love, I think. It's been not that long to be with him in this place. However, I can tell that I get more and more in love with him as time passes. Look at this, his portrait. How Masu Klein and elegant he is. He's the one embraced me and made me be my true self. And also this statue. Heard that this one is about his- What ears. the fuck are we doing? What the fuck is this? Something was wrong with Sarah. We killed Sarah. We hung ourselves. Starting Neighbor Steve saved us. Now we're in a mansion, like talking to fucking vampires. What the fuck is going on? Like identical to our count. How lovely. It's like they wanted to make like a couple different Sorry games, and they just put it in one fucking game. Myself, as I know nothing of you, that's why I keep speaking of me. As soon as he would come. Please be our guest for the dinner. Please, Brian, go back to your room. No. And do not I don't dare wanna... to touch these special goods. Please don't fall through the floor. Please don't fall through the floor. Ah! Ah! <sighs> my better half, my sole companion in life. I was a fool. So focused on my work that I forgot what she meant to me. I took her love for granted. If I had acted like her husband, how I should have, maybe she wouldn't have been in such pain. But at least she is alive. Whatever form she may take, 
maybe it's best for her. She can live her life without pain now. Sarah, my love, be well. Brian was overwhelmed by accumulated fatigue and, and a great mental shock and eventually died? Dude! Unlocked endings, one out of one. There's only one ending. Why even put that on there? Why even have one out of one? There's only one ending. He just died? And he got tired and died. Yeah, we didn't know how to wrap this game up. He got tired and died. All of that. So was that Sarah? That, what, that was Sarah? She's a vampire now? What's the mannequin? What was the deal with the mannequin and the box and all that shit? What's that have to do with this? Oh my God. Yeah, I didn't even pick up on the fact that that was Sarah. Where is Sarah? I mean, she's a fucking vampire now in a mansion with some guy. Some weirdo that delivers mannequins. 100% the demo is the game. The demo is the game. Anything after that, it's like they were trying to play to make other stuff and they just squeezed it into a, a like one game. But dude, the, the game starts and ends with the demo. Can we please help you write a review for this game, dude? I would love to, but I'm not even gonna give it. What, what was the deal with the mannequin? What, like why? The mannequin had us go find a book at one point. You guys remember that? You know, we had to go, we had to go find a book for a mannequin that was talking to us. Time for ending two out of one. I, I, I can't believe that. Like there's, well, first of all, thank God there's no alternate endings, but also like why you unlocked ending one out of one. That just means there's one ending. Why even waste your energy? Like typing that out and putting that on the screen. There, there was no way they were squeezing in multiple endings because they didn't have a, co a cohesive storyline like for one playthrough, let alone multiple endings. At least on itch.io, it's like, dude, here, here's a 20 minute horror game, have at it. Steam is like, they, it's like they try to do too much. They try to do too much so that they can justify the price. The game aside, I hope you guys still enjoyed watching. Even with my misery, the only thing I can hope is that it was still, still fun to watch. Not so much to play, just still fun to watch.